21, he joins the army. At 23, he joins the special forces. He's a trained sniper. An explosives expert. No service record, no discharge record, nothing. This guy right here, he knows how to disappear. A lobby group is calling for Liam Neeson's latest movie, Taken 3, to be rated 18A. Is it the violence? Is it the guns? What would cause it to be restricted? Well, guess again. It's that there's smoking in the movie. The Non-Smokers Rights Association uh, Special Interest Lobby Group says the actors seen smoking in movies are role models for kids. And Monkey See, Monkey Do, Sun News contributor Eric Duham joins me with more on this from Quebec City. Eric, welcome to the show. Always I, a pleasure. You know, shooting people, killing people, stabbing people, that's none okay. of that's a problem. But because they smoke a cigarette, oh my God, don't show the kids. What that's do you such make it a is? crime, I mean, but uh, on the other hand, hand, Ezra. It's very funny. It's uh, disappointing from a public policy perspective, but it's not really surprising when you look at the trend that had the, the anti-tobacco lobby had over the last few years. You remember they started to ban advertisement and then they were pushing for sponsorship and now they're pushing to even not see a cigarette period in a movie. It's, it's the same thing happened with the pack of cigarettes. You remember it started with small warnings, then bigger warnings, then pictures. Now they're pushing for plain packaging it's always the same thing. They're pushing the envelope always an inch further. And uh, this is the latest step that they're coming up with uh, until the day they're going to ask us to criminalize uh, tobacco. That's, the, that's certainly the, where they're going. Uh, and it's, it's very surprising, but uh, it's not when you look at the trend, it, it, it's following their logic uh, if you look at it in a long term perspective. You know what? It, it, it's a window into their soul. And here's what I mean by that. You can't convince, I mean, either they can or can't convince people to stop smoking. And by the way, every year in North America, about 1% fewer people smoke. Not quite every year, but, you know, in many ways, yeah. they've won the battle of ideas. And, uh, you know, people choose not to smoke. But you see a little flash into their true motives here, that if they can't convince someone... They will force Bullshit. someone, will ban you from smoking it, will ban you from buying it, will ban you from even seeing it. We'll go so far that we censor the dramatic arts. Maybe we'll censor books, we'll censor history books. It's that authoritarian impulse that gives the, the game away, Eric, don't you think? You're, you're absolutely right, Ezra. And, and it's not, not only are they doing that, but they're in total contradiction of their other political agenda that they're pushing right now. And we're going to see it in the upcoming federal election with Justin Trudeau and the liberals pushing to decriminalize marijuana. So on one hand, they're going to tell us that we shouldn't criminalize pot, that pot is OK. It's a lifestyle. It goes with all sorts of things. And they're going to push in favor of pot on one hand and on other hand they want us to make sure that we can't even see a cigarette in a movie anymore yeah. i mean think about the logic so if they're smoking a joint i guess it's going to be okay yeah. that could be seen by the youth and if you keep pushing it does it mean that when you know if it was just the, the the bad behaviors that we don't want to show kids you were right when you talked about violence but then we can talk about alcohol about kissing or have sex or there's all sorts of things that we can see in movie that are you know scenes of, of real day life uh, are, are they going to ban all of that? So why don't they ban movies altogether for the youth if they're, at, yeah. if they're going that far? I mean, it, it, there's, there's tons of contradiction into that. But unfortunately, uh, it, they're, they're going to keep going and there's politicians who are going to listen to them because the strong majority of us are silent and we don't say a word and we say, yeah, yeah, it's the anti-tobacco lobby. We have to swallow uh, their, their latest uh, whatever they want. But uh, they're not going to protest too much. And the small groups very well organized well-funded with your tax dollars, they're going to keep pushing for those kind of restrictions and they probably might win at the end of the day. That's yeah. the scariest part. Huh. I wonder if the Canadian Civil Liberties Association or Penn Canada, a free speech lobby, will weigh in on this. Seriously, here's someone trying to censor movies calling all free speech fighters. Eric, you're a great freedom fighter. In fact, in many ways, I think you are Quebec's best freedom fighter and it's great to check in with you from time to time. I hope to see you again soon, my friend. Thank you so much, Ezra. Au revoir.